New patient, 30-year-old female with synesthesia. New rules. You generate a lab report, you shred it. X-ray, you melt it. No notes, no records, nothing. As far as you're concerned, the patient is Osama bin Laden, and everyone not in this room is Delta Force. Any questions? We're protecting Osama bin Laden? It's a metaphor. Get used to it. Any more questions? And you're not even going to tell us her name? You think her name might be connected to what's wrong with her? Here's Osama! Now you all have numbers, so we're going to do this alphabetically. Eight, fifteen, and five. Is the synesthesia new? Yes. Any history of similar symptoms or psychiatric? No, nothing. Are you on any prescription meds or use any other drugs? No. Should we trust our answers? Do you think I'd pull you off Buddy Ebsen just for a junkie? Can we trust your answers? You gotta trust someone, right? No. Has anyone close to you been sick lately? A family member, a coworker? No, not that I'm aware of. Two down, Kitty Carlisle. You spend much time above 20,000 feet? Why would you ask that? People who fly are immobile for long periods. Could be a leg clot that embolized to the brain through a PFO. It's an unusual choice. Well, like you said, you wouldn't interrupt Buddy with anything that wasn't. The patient is a frequent flyer. 13, 32, 39. Get a SAMA, an EEG, MRI, and angiogram. How many of you think that Oswald acted alone? If by alone you mean that he was unaware that the CIA... Oh, shut up. You split yourself into two groups. Test her blood, test her stool. Who likes the designated hitter? You're wrong. You're lucky you're not fired. Two more groups, LP and Cultures. Who doesn't know what a designated hitter is? Okay, here's her address. I want you to break in, find out what she's hiding. Why don't we just ask the patient for the key? Well, if we could find out what she's hiding just by asking, we'd have to redefine hiding. If you want to live in this country, learn the language. What do you want the rest of us to do? 